I'm not used to contemporary music. I don't listen to it myself. Um, but no, I've, I've never really come across it or played it for that matter. At first, it felt really weird because it is open score and you don't know the level. So there's a lot of questions that I had before writing the piece. I do quite a few big concerts, so I've done the proms a couple of times, but not a lot of contemporary stuff, so this is quite something quite new and exciting for me. I think it's quite different kind of project, um, not something we're used to, so it's a good, good opportunity. I'm a late starter as a musician, but I've got very interested in music that you just don't know exactly where it's going to go. I just found that exciting and interesting. This is the tent that we live in. This is the tent that we live in. This is the tent that we live in. I'm Chris Shurikley, I'm director and founder of uh, COMA, Contemporary Music for All. Well, our remit is basically to give amateur musicians, non-professional musicians, the opportunity to play contemporary music. It's interesting that over the last 20, 25 years, the general public has um, really embraced visual art. They find it exciting, uh, they enjoy talking about it and engaging with it. And um, we, we think that contemporary music is um, as vital as visual arts and it should be able to assume the same level of engagement. The contemporary music we're referring to is based on the Western classical tradition, if you like, a notated tradition, um, and is experimental, forward-looking, and challenging, and tries to explore sound worlds which um, reflect, I suppose, our contemporary way of living and concerns. I think the contemporary music is trying to stretch music to new bounds. It's kind of just trying to combine the world of classical music with other different sound worlds of nature and electronic music, expressing the 21st century in, in music as accurately as possible. It's really hard to define because it's so many different things. What comes over is it's a combination of different kinds of arts and of different experiences, and it's bigger than just the music itself. Yeah, quite challenging, but I like the idea of having music available to people of all like, abilities and backgrounds. So This isn't the sort of music that I normally play, but I feel like new is good and it's good to be open to a wide variety of different genres. Some people are a little unsure as of yet. They're a bit scared to leave the world of you know your Beethoven, your Mozart behind and venture into this contemporary world. But some people are actually really starting to enjoy it. People talk about sort of classical music and Mozart and Beethoven, and I love all that. But we've got to be making new music. We've got to be carrying that forward. As a player, I feel like the music is a lot harder because of the um, score. The writing is obviously a lot uh, different, but it's nice to have some challenges and something different. When I first looked at the score as a, as a player, I was quite confused about what I was supposed to be playing, but once you get into it, it's actually more fun and expressive to do this than your usual Mozart symphony or something like that. The rhythms are often quite complex, and I think as an amateur, Counting can be one of our weaknesses and you really do have to count to get those rests and things like that, you know. I'm not used to not having any meter or any um, set structure as it's all left to, to time and chance and cues, so it's keeping me uh, more alert than I would normally be. You're not being told to make a note, you're being told to express the music in a way and you're really the person who's deciding what you're playing. Experimental music is not necessarily all that easy to listen to. It is best to experience it with live musicians. I, I think that's really very important. There's this old adage, I hear and I forget, I, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. Um, and I think that's really important in terms of new music. You can go to a concert um, and you'll experience a very great variety of musical approaches.
Tonight's performances are um, a natural progression of notated music, absolutely, in various forms. The Dark Sun is about the Hiroshima bomb. With this, I feel like you have to really listen to each individual part and how it all fits together and really the story that the music is trying to tell. This is BBC Hound and Foster's Burger, here's the news. This is Worcester Pickle Treaty. This morning's news of Japan's aggression was a successful countermeasures against the invasion of Malaya. There have also been reports of any attacks on the Taiwan and Hong Kong. The I must admit, coming in here, I had a very, probably a narrow view or conception of contemporary music, but after playing that piece just then and enjoying it and listening to the RNCM compositions, I think it is to broaden our sense of contemporary music as a whole. I really enjoyed the challenge of it. Absolutely amazing. I'm really inspired to kind of take the baton and, you know, kind of have a go at it with, with different groups of students, yeah. It was an experience that I'll never forget for a long time. The experience of playing with a big group like this is, you know, and of all ages, is just so exciting really, it's lovely. So yeah, it was good, it was good. Like, the point of music is to involve people, and that is what plays out today do. So.